All right, so you like Buffalo Trace, but you're having a hard time finding it. Uh, we got some alternatives that you might like. I don't know, you might not like them, but we're gonna give them to you anyway, because that's how we do it in the hood. What does that even mean? Caveat here, not everyone has a hard time finding Buffalo Trace. No, I mean, and the places where they do find it, it's not it's 50 to $80. Exactly, but for the rest of us, <laughs> where it is hard to find, it's allocated, and they're marking it up far above what it should be. Yeah. Because around us, the cheapest we can find this is typically 50 bucks. And I've seen it as high as 80 to $90, which is ridiculous. California has it at Target for $25. Yeah, exactly. It's like, you know, you go to Texas yeah. or, or California or a couple other places, and it's just like, hey, it's abundant. It's like, they get, you guys get all the Buffalo yeah. Trace products. Just like it all gets shipped there. Get all the blends. Okay, right, right. so uh, we'll start with your side of the table because you have the most over there. All right, so I think a phenomenal alternate, oh, so I think in a fun not Get it together, bruh. All right, so I think a phenomenal or Holy, Holy shit, shit, dude. Is he drunk? One can only assume. All right, so I think a phenomenal alternative. We got it, we got it. All right, I think a phenomenal alternative to Buffalo Trace is Old Forest 86. You're gonna come in at a similar price point. This is actually a little bit cheaper than what Buffalo Trace would yeah. normally sell for in that $25 to $30 range. You're gonna pick this up for roughly 20 bucks, a few bucks cheaper. It's gonna be similar in proof. That's 90, 90. this is 86. I think Old Forester 86, you can't go wrong with. The brown sugar, the caramel, it's approachable. It's smooth, for lack of a better term. And you can mix it which a lot of people are mixing Buffalo Trace as well. This is available everywhere. Yeah. No one marks it up. Hella cheap. Yeah, hella cheap, and it's always available. I think it's just a phenomenal alternative to Buffalo Trace. Kind of along the same lines as that, uh, we have another cheaper. This is Four Roses Small Batch. This is a 90 proof, so it's the same proof points as the Buffalo Trace. Oh, goody gumdrops. Great notes. It tastes amazing as a uh, single pour, as you just drink it and eat. And then you can also use it as a mixer. About 30 to 35 bucks. Yeah, so, so it's most likely cheaper than where yeah, you're Yeah, than what we're buying at Buffalo Trace for in our area. In this it's, area. it's just a good solid alternative. We're just giving you guys some alternatives. A lot of people don't give Four Roses enough love. I they mean, don't. Yes, Four Roses is some good stuff. Hey, by the way, if you like what we're doing, hit that like button and notification bell so you know when we're dropping new content every week. Next on the list is um, 1792 Small Batch. I mean, you should be able to pick this up roughly around $30, give or take. Yeah. It is absolutely delicious. It's coming in at, uh, what's coming in at? 93.7 proof, so just a couple proof points higher. It's very approachable. It's absolutely delicious uh, pour. You can drink it neat. You can, it's cheap enough you can mix it and you're not gonna think anything about it. Yep. I, I think it's very similar to Buffalo Trace. Yeah, Buffalo Trace is a solid pour. You don't mind mixing it. You can drink it straight. You can drink it over ice. It's versatile. That's why people love Buffalo Trace, I think. The only bad thing about it is if you're OCD and you touch your knob and it leaves fingerprints, you have to go back and shine it up. Oh, no, you're just looking for excuses to polish that knob. You stick with your strengths. <laughs> <laughs> what you got now? What, what, what do you got next? Quit, quit touching my knob. Quit touching your knob. I have Maker's 46. I know what you're thinking. Where the fuck? Is it? Balthazar is a thirsty bitch. It's, uh, it's probably in the sewer system by now because we <laughs> drank it and peed it out. I <laughs> Hella delicious, hella TMI. <laughs> Super available anywhere. This is the old bottle of 46. It's now in that bulbous bottom end with the long neck. So I'm not necessarily a huge Makers fan in general. That's a nice thought for an idiot to have. But if I'm gonna drink Makers, I want the 46. It's easily accessible, you can find it anywhere, it's cheap. Uh, 94 proof. 94. Yes, so it's a little, little, little bit, little bit stronger than this one, but it's not too much, but it's yeah. just as good. I think this is actually better. Yeah. But being a weeder, it is gonna be, I think, more approachable to a lot of, yeah. even though it's a little higher proof, it's more approachable. Yeah, a little bit sweeter. People who like this profile are probably going to like this profile. Yeah. It's less than 40 bucks, this is. So, uh, super, super available. If you get discouraged because you can't find this, you'll be able to find one of these like that. And then I have also have over here the Evan Williams Single Barrel, which awesome. this has a slight caveat to it. There's been articles written and some announcements that this is going to be a Kentucky-only release soon. Said I, sarcastically. But I've seen so many supposed Kentucky-only releases that I can find in South Carolina on any given day. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So I'm wondering how the, how the hell are they Kentucky? Are they just releasing them in Kentucky and then shipping them everywhere else? What, I mean, what's what's the deal? I don't know, because I keep seeing these all everywhere too, and I'm like, I thought they did away with these. 
Yeah, that's what was supposedly, yeah. but not that way, but like got yeah. You know, when only Kentucky, Kentucky only, yeah. only Kentucky because of supplies. This is a phenomenal pour. It's coming in at uh, what is it? Eighty six point six. It's a delicious product. Pick it up roughly in the thirty dollar range, mm -hmm. uh, most places. You're gonna be similar price point to the Buffalo Trace. Very approachable, well balanced. It's just a very solid classic bourbon notes, solid pour. I definitely can find this a whole lot easier than the Buffalo Trace. I can go into any store, pretty much any store, and I'm gonna see this sitting on the shelf. Most of the time, collecting a little bit of dust because people don't realize how what a hitter this is. This also applies for the Blantons, too. If you can't find Blantons, go with any of these five. <laughs> you just don't like Blantons. I don't like Blantons for the price. For, no, Blantons for the price is good, it's got a good taste. But even the, you know how much they were in the duty free shops? They're 140. I know you don't really care for it. I, for the price, I 100% agree. I'm not a huge fan of it. If I could pick it up for that 60 bucks any day of the week, yeah, I would, I drink, would, it. I would drink it I'm all not, the time. I'm not drinking it for 140 and plus. That's no. just dumb. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's that just is too much. so stupid. It's Stop it, both of you. Now you've done it. You've made me turn my chair. I'm not spending, there's so many more bottles, especially now, oh. in the, within the past two years, the oh, releases man. that some of these distilleries have come out with, in the oh. past two years, there's so much more better stuff. Oh, dude. And if you're gonna spend $140. As one says when she sees deodorant, I'm not buying it. <laughs> We're living in a phenomenal time with what is available yeah. today for us to drink. Don't get me wrong, there was some phenomenal uh, bourbons of the past, but the variety that is out there today, accessible, and so many of them just aren't getting a lot of love that are so mm. freaking good. Well, guys, if you like this, you wanna see more, check us out on Patreon in the description below. Uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's some good stuff in there. Yeah, you get to watch us do dumb stuff and whatnot. So, yeah, join us. And cut! <laughs>